Hello everyone, today we're going to do an update on the Red Sea Reefer 250 and I'm going to tell you about Kenny's dirty little secret. Hello and welcome back everyone to I'm Azul TV. It's, uh, it's been a while, things have been a little bit busy at work, but uh, I thought I'll uh, get my camera and do a quick little video to show you how things are going. So uh, in terms of uh, my SPS, uh, things are I think are going really well. Uh, I made some changes in, in uh, coral and the placements of corals, and uh, I've been slowly uh, ramping up my uh, Gen 5 Radeon Blues, and uh, I'm, I, I gotta tell you guys, I'm really impressed. Um, it, there is, there's just colors that I'm seeing in my corals that I've never like uh, seen before. Uh, I'm, I'm still doing my amino acid dosing. I'm still uh, dosing potassium nitrate to kind of keep the levels up. But ever since I changed my uh, color, uh, my, uh, my radions uh, from uh, the mix of Gen 3s and Gen 4s into uh, uh, the, three, uh, the three radion blues, uh, I'm noticing some uh, really nice colors and also uh, uh, some uh, some faster growth, I think. Uh, so right now the XR Blues uh, are running at 65 uh, and I'm planning to kind of just, uh, every week I, I pump them up by 1% and, uh, and uh, I, I'm gonna, I guess, just see how far I could push them. Uh, but just to kind of to give you an example in, in terms of like positive changes, uh, is like a lot of uh, good growth on, uh, you see all these white tips on uh, uh, worldwide, uh, WWC, worldwide corals, uh, little red Ferrari, uh, my tiny little frag of orange passion is, is looking really good. Uh, the digi, I, I just keep having to cut it because it, it's growing uh, fast. Uh, look at, look at this. Uh, Look at the look at the colors on the. I think this is the PC Rainbow. It's just really phenomenal. I've, I've it, it wasn't like this, and I mean, you know, it's always hard to tell, like what caused the change. Was was it uh, uh, was it just the look uh, really pale early on because it was a new frag and it took a while to acclimate. But but certainly there there's some really beautiful colors here. Uh, the Walt Disney looking really good. Uh, here is. Here is my uh, strawberry shortcake. You'll get a, a better picture of it when I do the top-down uh, tour. Uh, but uh, if you remember, my strawberry shortcake uh, was actually, uh, let me zoom back, it was uh, where the green slimer was. It looked really pale. I moved it down to the sand bed here. It looked really pale and, and literally, I didn't know where to put it. Uh, so I put it in the black hole of Acropora death la <laughs> last month. And a few of you joked about how it's just gonna like die. Well, I also thought it was gonna die, but uh, if you look at the colors, um, the colors are coming back, guys. So uh, again, you're, you'll see, a, get a better sense of this when uh, you get the top-down tour. Uh, but you could see the the pinks and the greens coming back. So that, I think that's a really positive sign. Uh, what I did was, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, look at, look, just look at the colors at this uh, pink Cadillac. So the pink Cadillac was where the TNT and Acropora is back there. And it wasn't looking really good. And I had moved it uh, about the same time that I added the new radions. I moved it up here where it's getting more par. And this thing was brown, essentially. It, it looked like it was stripping in some parts, but it's quickly kind of uh, coming back uh, in, in a big way. Uh, and then the pink lemonade uh, uh, looking very lovely. Anyway, so overall, I'm, I'm super happy. Uh, I did, I did, I think I almost lost uh, my uh, Anacropora, uh, Jason Fox Anacropora, if, if you followed last week, uh, sorry, last video, I had like an accidental uh, salinity pump and, uh, and um, I had a huge, uh, actually where, where the pink Cadillac was. I had a huge TNT and Acropora colony. Most of it stripped. I did manage to cut a few frags. And as I, as I brought my salinity down, I, I thought that uh, uh, the, the TNT started kind of doing stripping less and less. And eventually I was able to rescue this, uh, this one piece. So yay. Uh, let me show you from the other side. Actually, I, I have a, qu a question for you guys. So. Uh, I have like these mushrooms that are kind of spreading and 
is this if if you had experience with mushrooms and and SPS, uh, please let me know whether the mushrooms are uh, are going to uh, like essentially be attacking my uh, Acropora. Uh, I always kind of thought mushrooms were were happy go lucky non aggressive type of corals, uh, but if if you've had bad experiences with mushrooms killing uh, Acropora, let me know, and I'll, I'll start to be a little bit more proactive. Uh, all of these uh, mushrooms, I think that's uh, orange rhodactus or Christmas rhodactus, uh, are coming from this kind of major colony uh, that uh, the clowns like to host. Uh, another kind of minor change is I had a, a, trach a trachophilia right beside the mushroom here, and I thought that it would be nicer to kind of just move it back to uh, the center. Uh, so that's it. Uh, things going really well. Very happy with the progress of the tank. And so... Uh, before I do the top down tour, I wanted to tell you about, uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, where is Kenny? Uh, where is Kenny? Kenny always hides. Oh, there he is. So I wanted to tell you about Kenny the Blenny's dirty little secret. So if you guys have been following my channel, uh, you know that uh, this guy Kenny uh, is an algae Blenny and uh, he's, he's quite a character. You know, it's kind of funny. You, you buy these really expensive fish, so I, you know, I have... I have some really nice wrasses in the tank. Uh, not, not, nothing like super rare, uh, but you know, expensive fish that uh, are super colorful and, and so on. Uh, yeah, for, for the last little while, my <laughs> uh, this, this little guy, this uh, drab gray uh, fish has been just uh, stealing the show and, and, uh, and he's just been like super, super cool to watch and, and interact with. Uh, so, uh, Kenny the Blenny, if, if the joke is, uh, it's named after Kenny uh, from uh, uh, South Park. Uh, oh my God, you've killed Kenny, <laughs> you bastard. Uh, so every time I turn off my uh, pumps uh, to do uh, to shoot video, Kenny goes into the MP10s and, and the joke is like one of these days, he's just gonna turn into sushi uh, when, when the power goes on. So far, he's, he's been really good and, and the MP10s, they, uh, they, they don't like go from zero to 100 real quick. They take a while to spin up. Uh, so uh, Kenny is super fat. It's a little bit hard to see, uh, but he's always like munching on algae uh, and he's just got this massive belly. He, he's always like front and center, uh, photo bombs all of my shots. And whenever I, uh, I put my hand in the tank to kind of uh, take out frags or, or move frags, he actually <laughs> goes out and like bites me. So uh, I, I've grown quite like fond of, of the little guy. And so uh, one interesting thing about him, his, his dirty little secret, is that despite him being an algae plenty, he loves to eat fish. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's one of those like vegetarians that like goes home and like eats bacon and in, in, <laughs> in secrecy so i just want to i want to show you this i'm going to feed the i'm going to feed the what is this like reef frenzy and uh i'm going to pause so here it is guys i'm, I'm going to feed the tank some reef frenzy like i do in the morning sometimes i feed reef frenzy sometimes i feed the uh, uh shrimp and just watch Kenny. He's 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 gonna like go all out. There he is. <laughs> Her before my ass. <laughs> so I think that that might explain. That might there he goes again. I think that might explain why he's like always super fat and healthy because you know you you see that my tank doesn't have a lot of algae. Although he is always munching. Like he's always munching on rocks. Look. <laughs> Look at him, <laughs> mine. <laughs> uh, so uh, he he has learned to kind of supplement his diet with uh, with tasty meaty fish. So uh, I'm not I don't know whether we could uh, call him an algae blenny anymore. And I'm actually kind of curious if, if you guys if you have algae blennies whether whether uh, yours uh, does like uh, uh, do take a liking to eating uh, frozen fish and frozen shrimp. Uh, he, he, he definitely eats algae whenever I put a nori clip. He's like the first uh, to go there, but he, he's clearly developed like a, a taste for uh, <laughs> a, a taste for the flesh of his friends. <laughs> We're going to have to turn call him Hannibal. Uh, all right, that's it about uh, Kenny's little secret. Uh, now let's do a top down tour. All right, let's start our top down tour. Uh, <laughs> Kenny, photobombing. Clam is looking really good. 
let's see here is the wwc little red ferrari and it has certainly taken on like a deeper a deeper coloration uh more like uh what's the word more saturated it looked a little bit brown but now you can kind of see the the dark uh dark purple uh the cali tort and look at that lovely orange passion so super tiny but i think coloring up really nicely and then here we have the hawkins ishinata and moving backwards we have the bubblegum digi the applejack the green slimer and back there is the blueberry wine acro um, really really good solid colors then let's go to the middle um, here is the jason fox jolt and it's definitely encrusting it, it, this is it's been a really kind of slow growing coral uh, the colors look really good uh, and it's uh, definitely uh, showing some signs of uh, encrusting on the flag uh, frag blog then here we have the star of the show this is uh, pc rainbow uh, fabulous colors um, i can't wait to see uh, how this thing develops as it uh, grows a little bit taller then we have um, this is the golden jaw dropper and you could you could see that tips are are really like uh, showing some more intense coloration so i'm kind of exciting to see what the transformation of this is going to look like and then back there we have the walt disney frag yay moving across uh, marvin the martian doing great uh, again not super fast grower but uh, it, it's the, certainly growing and then here here it is right like uh, remember how awful this uh, uh, strawberry shortcake looked like and uh, it's coloring the colors coming back guys and even though it's in the black hole of acropora death it's uh, <laughs> it it fears no evil <laughs> all right let me zoom back oh that's the other way there we go that's a sweet spot then moving to this boulder here uh, we have uh, mr pac-man we have major laser uh, we have uh, fox flame another coral that's uh, showing uh, some really nice resurgence in, in coloration some nice kind of vibrant uh, uh, vibrant is not the word that i'm looking for uh, uh saturated i think <laughs> nice like deeply saturated uh, purples and and pinks and that pop of the fluorescent tips uh, really spectacular uh, another coral that's been uh, looking fantastic uh, since I moved it from uh, uh, the edge of the column, the, the tank. I mean, it's still on the edge, but it's, I think, getting more par here. This is uh, Refraft uh, Mr. Cadillac. Sorry, Refraft Pink Cadillac. This tiny little thing is uh, Pink Lemonade, and it's uh, it, it's definitely retaining its color. You know, I've, I've, I've tried Pink Lemonades before, never had luck with them. I tried a couple of times uh, one of them like died really quickly and it never kind of stayed this color this uh, well like pink lemonade color uh, but this one is, is still showing notes of that kind of yellowish green and uh, pink polyps are really spectacular uh, kind of a, a classic i think uh, Hawk, uh, no not hawkins and sonata this is uh, bonsai valida going back here we have my, um, uh, what is this, um, Electric Myaji Tort. Uh, I keep fragging it and it keeps growing. I, I really have to kind of manage this, uh, the Myaji Tort, because uh, it has a tendency to like go sumo. So I, I need to kind of stay on top of it. Like this branch, I think, needs to come out to give the pink lemonade some space. This is things that uh, I've learned from... Uh, my first like version one of the tank was that you, you have to you have to stay on top of the fast growing acroporas because they will like take over really quickly so you you, <laughs> you keep put if you put it put off fragging then you're just going to have like a couple of colonies of huge size and everything is going to struggle 
and here is the mr uh tnt uh tnt what, what's wrong with me today i can't I keep forgetting the names of the frags uh, jason fox tnt and acropora uh looking really good and again if if, if you guys have experiences with uh, mushrooms attacking um sbs do let me know because uh uh, if 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 there is concern over aggression, then I'm gonna do um, do a much better job of keeping the Rudactus mushrooms in check. And then this lovely thing is uh, Rainbow Loom. Uh, I, uh, I think it's also from Refraft. So yeah, everything is looking really good. They're really happy with the colors. 65% uh, intensity in the Radeon's uh, G3 right now. Oh, I forgot this little guy. This is the pot of gold <laughs> right now it, it, it looks like pot of salad uh it's just this is green millipore it's, it's supposed to be gold but uh yeah it's it hasn't turned gold for me yet and then i think i i kind of skip showing you these two little disc frags in the back uh this is uh, i have two encrusting montiporas that used to run rampant and i didn't i wasn't really sure what i'm gonna do with them this is a rainbow encrusting uh, Monty, and this is pink mystic. So I think I'm just gonna like sell these two frag discs and and uh, and call it a day. I'm I'm not sure if I really wanna add more Montys. They they can get a little bit aggressive. And here is the Walt Disney. Uh, I always wondered like. <laughs> The, if Walt Disney looks the same as uh, as Orange Passions, and so now now we'll know we'll we'll have the comparison. Walt Disney versus Orange Passion. This is the Walt Disney, and here is the Orange Passion. Uh, I got my money in the Orange Passion. I, I I think it's gonna be more interesting when it grows up, but we we will see. We will see. They're still kind of babies at this stage, uh, but we we'll have that comparison. And the jolt, uh, still not seeing reds on the jolt, but uh, I have high hopes. <laughs> but that PC rainbow is just something else. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. All right, that's it, guys and gals. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please uh, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. So that way you're notified whenever I publish a video. And uh, I haven't done like a reef science episode in a while and <laughs> I, I, need, I need a little bit of a distraction. So uh, what, what do you guys think? How about, how about this? If, if you guys want to want me to do a specific uh, research, uh, sorry, science video, reef science video on a topic of interest, uh, post it in the comments. Uh, let me know the topic that you want kind of covered and reviewed and, and then I'll... Uh, I'll have a look at the literature and see if I could uh, pull up pull up a couple of papers and uh, and review it here on the channel. Okay, uh, stay safe, everyone. Enjoy your tank, and see you later.